Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over uh, problem number six, section 4.1. And uh, there are a lot of them, but we're going to try probably four of those so you can get an idea and then do the rest. So for each, uh, let's see what the problem says. For each of these items, the vector space V equals to R square space in R2 is modified by changing the vector addition and or scalar multiplication. Decide whether or not we still a vector space. If not a vector space, specify all the axioms that are violated. So, but even if uh, one axiom is violated, you can stop right there and say it's not a vector space, but uh, let's go over those. Now, what I did, these are the 10 axioms and you can, uh, you have this in my last, video also please take a look at it and I'm going to have saw some examples but uh, I think it's a good idea I'll go over three or four of those uh, for you and after that you can just go ahead and try it yourself now if you take a look at the answers it says which of them are violated but I want to show you how it works basically if you have a problem like this you have to start from one until you stop at one of the axioms that doesn't work and you can stop right there and say it's not a vector space so let's try which one did i pick well i picked a here the usual vector addition but uh, with scalar multiplication change too so the scalar multiplication usually k scalar x uh, the vector is kx ky but in this case it's just kx and y only. First of all, if you want to compute this with negative three scalar multiplication to uh, five negative two, so you write, you just copy, this is our k. And then that means it's three, negative three times five, the first component and the second component stay the same. So it's negative 15, negative two. Now here, uh, if you check the solution, it says number seven is violated, but uh, let's go ahead and check number seven. If we go up and check it here, number seven is distributive property. R plus S scalar V is R scalar V plus, or you can just say addition plus uh, S scalar V. So let's basically, if you write that, uh, if I say C plus D, these are all constants like R plus A. Q is C plus D, U1, comma, U2. And then you just distribute that. That's what you get. So this is C U1 plus C U2. And don't forget, these are the components. Plus C U2 plus D U2. And then you can separate them. So that's the same thing as C1 times U1 plus C2 times, comma, C2 times U2 plus D D times U1, I don't know if I said C1, but it's just C, comma D U2. And what you can do, you can factor out the C here and the D from here, basically, then you can just write this as a vector notation and that becomes C U plus D U. Now, let's go over our problem. Let's say we have u is x, y, and k scalar u is k times x, y. And then this is what the problem says. So that's what we have. Now just start number one. If we do k plus s scalar u, that's k plus s scalar x, y. And then if we write that, if we continue just what we have here is going to be k plus s, that's the constant here, x comma y. And if uh, we write k plus s dot u, we know we have to have k, and it's not that the scalar multiplication plus s times scalar multiplication u. So it's going to be k times x y plus s times x y. So for here we're going to get k x comma y and s x comma y and then u one and two they have to be equal to each other but in this case 
when you calculate one, you get that. And when you calculate two, you get this one. And these are not equal to each other. So you can say distributed property of scalar multiplication over ordinary addition fails. Therefore, this is not a vector space. So basically, the way you can prove this, that if they're not the same, if you can take one side in any of those, and you take the other side, and then you just calculate them. If they're not the same with the givens, then that means it's not a vector space. Let's try B. The usual, usual vector addition, but with scalar multiplication here, again, it's changed. It's negative kx and negative ky. If we try it with negative 3, 5, and 2, so it starts negative negative three times five, and that's my negative, negative three times negative two, so you get 15 and negative six. Now the associative property of scalar multiplication is R scalar S scalar V should be equal to R S scalar V, or it should be equal to S scalar R scalar V. So, now let's try this for, they're going to take this side first. So when you put RK, or you can just take this one, RK scalar XY, if you we substitute here is negative RK X comma negative RK Y. Now, if we take that and apply it, R scalar K scalar XY, so this is R scalar negative kx and negative ky, again, that's what happens here. So that's going to be, then if you apply that again, you're going to get negative r times negative kx and negative r times negative ky. And as you can see, you get rkx, rky, and you do not get that. So if you try that and you try that, they're not the same thing for this operation. So therefore, it's not a vector space. So this is violated. Also, the unitary property of scalar multiplication, when you do one scalar v, you should just get v. In this case, if you do one scalar x, y, you get negative x, negative y. And that's not the same thing as the original vector. So not a vector space. Now, if you if one of them failed, then you can just stop right there and say it's not a vector space. Let's try C, change the vector addition x1 comma y1. Again, vector addition x2 comma y2 is given by this operation. It says do x1 plus x2 minus two and y1 plus y2 plus one. Let's try it with this one. 7, no, comma, negative 3. And again, let's just call it plus. Plus uh, 2, comma, 6. So if we follow this, it's going to be 7 plus 2. And that's minus 2. And then it's going to be y1 plus y2. So it's negative 3 plus 6 plus 1. And if you do that, you get 7, 4. Now, again, this here, you can just continue. Do all of them. It's not a bad idea until you stop. But again, in the answer, we know it says the distributive property uh, one, which was that you can take a look at the list is violated. So let's see how this is violated. We're going to try to do this side with the given. So number one, I put R plus S scalar V is R plus S X one and Y one, and that's plus uh, X two y2 so basically if you put that and you can you're going to just multiply this for the first vector then what you can say actually you can distribute that inside this first vector you get r process x1 comma r plus s y1 and again if you continue that uh, it's going to be our if uh, the other side if you continue try to find this is going to be r plus s x1 plus r plus s x2 minus 2 r plus s y1 plus r plus s y2 plus 1. 
Now, let's try to see, to calculate that. So that one is R scalar V plus S scalar V. If you write it, it's R X one comma R Y one. And then again, if we use the given operation, we get R X one plus R X two minus two R Y one plus R Y two plus one. And that's plus SX1 plus SX2 minus 2 and SY1 plus SY2 plus 1. And as you notice that 1 and 2, they're not equal to each other. So that is not equal to that for this given operation. So therefore, it's not a vector space. And if again, one fails, you can just stop there. F, I tried F also change the vector addition x1, y1, and let's call it just plus here, plus x2, uh, y2, x1 plus y2, and x2 plus y1. And you know, the normal, the regular one is just x1 plus y1, and here you put y1 plus uh, x1 plus x2, and then y1 plus y2, but then that's what the new operation we have. We tried with this. 7, negative 3 plus 2, 6. So x1 is 7, and uh, y1 is plus y2, actually. y2 is 6, so it's 7 plus 6. And then it says do x2, which is negative 3, plus y1, which is uh, x2 is 2, and uh, y1 is negative 3. Let me get that right, and you get. 13, negative 3. Now, again, the answer, remember, I just did one of them. Please try the other ones, the commu commutative property of addition, so, or commutativity of addition. So that fails. That means u plus v is not the same thing as v plus u. Let's get that first. So u plus v is x. 1, y1 plus x2, y2, and you just follow. Uh, that one is pretty, we already have that. So it's going to be x1 plus y2, x2 plus y1. Then if you do v plus u, then you write x2, y2 plus x1, y1. And if you follow that, so it says to x1, so take the first one. So in this case, you put x2 plus y2, take that one, so it's going to be y1 here. And the second one, it says x2, that means take that. Here, we're going to take that. It's going to be x1 plus that. And we clearly see these are not the same. So one is not equal to two, so that's not a vector space. So I think with this video, if you try it yourself, just see what it says, and then go step by step it's a good idea to do uh, start from one and then find out which one doesn't work. It's, it's long, but if you do three, four of those, then you become very familiar with that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Have a great one all.